Another very good function inside Setup Factory 7.0 is the type function. And this allows us to identify what type of variable uh, we're dealing with. So for example, if we set up a variable here, we'll call it variable, and we'll say variable equals John. And let's go ahead and just set up a dialog message now to check out what type of variable that is. Okay, so we'll say type is, and then here we're just going to use the type function comes with brackets and we just have to type our variable name inside the brackets. Okay, so we've used our type function just like we do any normal function by just inserting the value inside some parentheses. Let's go ahead and publish that and see how it looks. So we'll go ahead and run this. As you can see now it's telling us that the type is string. So it knows that the name John is a string value. Let's take a look uh, at how we can modify this. Let's change our variable from a string value to a numeric value. Variable now equals 3. And let's go ahead and build and run our script one more time. And we'll see what happens. Okay, as you can see it says now type is number. Excellent. So it's actually tracking what type of variable we have here. Let's take a look at one more quick example and then we'll take a look at the list of suitable types. So let's, uh, this time um, we'll create it into a table by adding several values inside curly braces here. We'll do the apple, orange, banana analogy again. And then we'll go ahead and press OK, build it, and go ahead and audition our changes. As you can see it tells us the type is table. So this is a pretty reliable way to figure out what type of variable you're dealing with. Now Let's go back to our actions here. Uh, the valid types are nil, number, string, boolean, table, and function. So what do you suppose will happen if we don't set this variable at all? If we just go ahead and use our type function before we've even set the variable. And we'll take a look at this will be our final example of the type function. And see what happens. And as you can see we get the nil value. So this is even a great way to test and see if a variable even exists. So this is a fantastic function. Uh, it's one of the lesser used functions and I encourage everybody to check it out and try it out. I use it all the time and it helps to keep track of things and really uh, keep it going. And particularly in instances where you may be converting strings to numbers and so forth, uh, it really is helpful. Okay, let's go on to the next video.